Hey, Sophie here with another episode of Friday Favorites. And this Friday, it is all about safe and effective sunscreens. Okay, so I'm gonna make this one really quick because it's really not that complicated and I have four great choices. Now, three of the four choices that I'm showing you for safe and effective sunscreens today have been rigorously assessed by the Environmental Working Group, the EWG's Skin Deep database. So they make a big deal about sunscreens because they found that a lot of sunscreens um, contain ingredients that can be really bad for you, really deleterious to your health and the health of the environment. So very quickly, before I show you these four products, let's just talk about the difference between chemical and mineral sunscreens. Chemical versus mineral sunscreens. So chemical sunscreens get into the layers of your skin and they take a while to process, which is why you ha often have to wait 20 to 30 minutes after application before you go out in the sun. But many of these sunscreens have been found to contain chemicals that can be endocrine disruptors and can have other deleterious effects on your health and they're not good for the environment. So I choose a mineral sunscreen that is just as effective at blocking the harmful rays um, off of your skin. Now, a mineral sunscreen, unlike a chemical sunscreen, is a physical block. This means that it immediately blocks the sun rays as soon as you have applied it. How great is that? So there isn't the slightest bit of waiting time you put it on, you apply it, and you are protective. It's like wearing a layer of clothes. So I'm really, really, um, that's one of the things that I absolutely love about a mineral sun uh, block. Now, mineral sun blocks generally contain something called zinc Oxide. Now, zinc oxide is a naturally occurring mineral. You want to look for a zinc oxide that is non-nano. This is very, very important. And this is zinc oxide that has been used in all of the four products that I am showing you today. Okay, sunscreen number one. This one is by Goddess Garden. It is the Sport and it is SPF 50 and it is great for sensitive skin. So all of those three things to me makes this an almost perfect sunscreen. So you can get a larger container or a smaller travel size. You know, if you're out and about, you, and particularly if your kids are out and about playing on the beach or running around or, you know, making sandcastles in and out of the ocean, um, and or you are a runner and you're outside in the summer, this might be an excellent, excellent choice for you. And uh, this one, as three of the sunscreens that I'm showing you today, has the lowest possible hazard score by the EWG database. Um, unscented, cannot recommend this more highly. Sunscreen number two is by Michelle. Now, Michelle is a brand that I really like for pretty much all of their products, but they have a a large selection of sun products for sun protection, all of which are really super effective. And I wanted to include in my Friday favorites for sunscreens a spray, because a lot of people love a spray. I really like a spray just for ease of use. So this is their Sun Shield Clear Spray SPF. 30. So great one to have while you're on vacation or in and around the pool and you've got your bikini or your swimsuit on or your kids have or your husband has and this is very very easy to apply because it's a spray. But unlike some of the sprays that are ultra clear. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't even see them. They sort of disappear into the ether. This one does not. This is like a clear white spray, which I think is very important because you can see where you've sprayed it. The other sprays worry me a little bit because I'm like, ah, did I get my toes or my feet? This you're going to see. Once you've um, applied it and you see this very white clear spray, you then rub it in and make sure that, you know, you're fully 
covered. So to me, it just sort of checks off all of those boxes. Now, I want to draw your attention to, there's a little um, stamp on it that says Reef Safe. And this is the case, by the way, all of the sunscreens that I'm showing you today are Reef Safe. But my shell has made a really big deal of this. Uh, Kimberly, who is the formula later, the scientist behind the my shell products, is a, like my husband, is a diver, a very keen snorkeler and a diver. And like my husband has seen the destruction of the coral reefs, particularly over the last 20 years. And yes, it's to do with our oceans warming up, but it's also very much to do with we have to be really careful uh, what we put on our skin when we go into the ocean, uh, because the sunscreens and the ones that are you know heavily fragranced with synthetic chemicals and all of those chemicals can destroy our coral reefs are beautiful, sensitive. They're alive coral reefs, but they're very swiftly being killed off. So, you know, I could go on and on about this, but Kimberly's passionate about it. So am I. Please make sure that your um, sunscreen is reef safe. All right, let's go on to Sunscreen number three. This is by Badger. Now, I love Badger. Badger's always been a very favorite brand of mine for a number of different products. They have a lot of sun care products. They also have insect repellents. And actually now they have a really big line of beautiful, safe skincare products as well. I love Badger because I love the little Badger on it. I love their packaging. It's great for kids. And this is a relatively new product. It is their Clear Daily 30. It is unscented. It is broad spectrum 30, uh, natural mineral, mineral non-whitening, uh, clear zinc, uh, non-GMO, etc., etc. But I do want to actually show you how this goes on because... Oftentimes, in the past, I thought, mm, wait a minute, it's, you know, this zinc oxide, it is going to go on white. And there are, by the way, a lot of mineral sunscreens that do, I'm not going to lie, go on really white. Remember my daughter when she was growing up, horrified, it's like, mom, please don't cover me with that. It's like so white and greasy. This, not so. Let me show you. So I'm applying a little bit here, quite a lot actually. And I, hopefully you can see, because it's super bright sunlight out here, but I'm um, rubbing it in, and after three or four seconds, it is completely clear and completely non-greasy. So, I rest my case. That is an amazing product. And finally, last but not least, this isn't one that's been... Um, tested by the EWG because it's a smaller uh, brand, um, is actually a laundry detergent brand that has come out with this sunscreen called You Are My Sunshine. And it's an amazing laundry, eco-friendly laundry brand called My Green Fills. I am going to link to the video I made about this laundry detergent, which is my favorite eco-friendly laundry detergent. It is a delivery service. You have to know about it. So I'm going to link um, underneath this video uh, to that video, My Green Fills. Anyway, when they first sent me a kit, they, one of the products, the extra products, was a sunscreen called You Are My Sunshine. And I thought, huh, interesting, whatever, I'll put it away and I'll sort of road test it another time. It was in the winter. Um, but then the sun started coming out and I was driving around LA and I really need to be protecting my hands and my arms. In another video, I've talked about how some woman commented about all the age spots on my hands and my arms, which is why I made my vitamin C face and body uh, serum. I'll link to that underneath this video too. And, um, Anyway, I thought, well, I'm doing all this beautiful vitamin C and everything, so I have to protect them. So I picked this up and I fell in love with it. So I love the texture. It's not, it's really not thick at all. It has, unlike the others the, that are all unscented, it has a very fresh sort of citrusy, lemony scent when it goes on. So it's very, very easy to quickly apply to your hands and your arms. I actually kept it in the car for a while. And um, as I say, I love the scent. Uh, it's non-nano, 
It is SPF 30. But what is notable to me in it are the ingredients. So the ingredients, very simple and beautiful skin nourishing ingredients, olive oil, carrot oil, which has a natural sunscreen in it, non-nano zinc oxide, flax oil, which is has been found to be one of the best oils for skin hydration, for extended skin hydration. It just almost forms this beautiful layer of moisture on your skin. Red raspberry seed oil, vitamin E, and, and some essential oils. So a, a beautiful product, and, and I highly recommend you checking that out. It also says on the ingredient label, lot made with lots of love, does not, in big letters, contain any endocrine or hormone disrupting chemicals. Thank you, you are my sunshine. So that's it from me. Let me know if there are any sunscreens that you love or you want me to check out. And I'm particularly interested if you live in the EU, if you live in Europe, if you live in England, or if you live in Australia, because the regulations for sunscreens are quite different there. Um, and so I'd really like to know some of your finds. And if you found, you know, a sunscreen or a sunblock over there that you absolutely love and is really safe and, you know, is using some of these really beautiful ingredients and is reef safe too. I'm not sure whether they make such a big deal about it over there. But as you know, being gorgeously green, that is so important. Okay, make sure to check out the many other videos in my Friday favorite series. They come out every single Friday and I cover everything from skincare to food to books to anything that, um, that I think may uh, serve to enhance your life as it has done mine. I'll see you next time. If you enjoy this video and don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos, please subscribe and make sure you click on the bell icon next door to the subscription box so you'll be notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications for YouTube on your phone.